Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. In the last week when I attended for one of the interview, so uh, the question was, uh, is person number is mandatory or worker number is mandatory? We said it's person number is mandatory. We'll, we'll be enabling the person number at enterprise level. Worker number will be enabling at uh, legal employer level. So person number is mandatory which will never change and if at all we want to make the change if it is manual process then it will allow us to make some changes then what are different methods we have to generate the person number and where do we set up this option it is so in manage enterprise hcm information we'll do this setup there are three types of person generation methods manual it means manually you can go for enter the person numbers while hiring an employees and automatic prior to submission. So when we are hiring an employee, we'll, we'll follow the sequence of uh, tabs like identification information, person information, assignment information after that compensation. So automatic prior to submission, before you submit this worker for approval, then it's going to be specified. The automatic prior to submission method is going to have here it is. This method is a uh, default method. Uh, for person number generation. So when you have this uh, person number, so it may create uh, gaps in person number. This is very important. This is very important. So the disadvantage with this method is, for example, you hired an employee and you have submitted for approval, then they have rejected. So once they reject, what will happen? The number is already generated. So we cannot go for that number assigning to another uh, employee. It's not possible. Okay, so it's already generated. So what we have to go ahead is now, so it may create gaps between the employees numbers here. Automatic upon final save. So this is prior to submission. This is upon final save. So once you go for save this transaction, you cannot view the person number when creating the person record. So when you are hiring an employee, you cannot view the person record here. However, you can view the person number on the person page after the transaction is approved. After the transaction is approved, you can view the transaction uh, person number. Okay. So this particular method will generate the person numbers without gaps because after approval only the number will be generated here. After approval only the number will be generated. Okay, so uh, if person number is, uh, for example, person number are also assigned to contacts. Contacts are nothing but worker contacts. Worker, uh, parent, or brother, or sister, or any other we, while hiring an employee if you choose. If they are created as part of the person transaction, for example, if person is assigned person number five and two contacts are created during the person transaction, then the contacts will be assigned person number six and seven. For example, you are hiring one worker and also you are going to maintain the worker uh, contacts. Where do we maintain the worker contacts? In the tab called person information. In the person information. I'll show that now. So this person number five, six and seven also it will be. This means the next two person will be assigned to the next person. If you go for try to generate, person number will be eight. So this is another question here. I would like to go for generate the person numbers for our contact numbers, person contacts. So then it can be done over here it is. Okay. Where do we set the initial person number? Same manage enterprise HCM information. Person numbers for contact records. So as I said, if you go for automatic, you can correct automatically generated person numbers to the person number page here. Okay, let me show you that here. Let's go to setup and maintenance. And go to the task here, enterprise uh, HCM information. Manage en enterprise HCM information. Here we can find person number generation with an automatic upon final save. Automatic upon final save. An initial person number is 6200 is there. That's a starting number. Okay. So if at all we want to change this method, we can go for change. 
by selecting the value here it is like uh, as i said we have three options right manual prior to submission upon final save option now we are going ahead with upon final save and let's go for hire an employee here make sure that you have the role called human resource specialist role then only you will be able to hire an employee let me log in with the uh, participant user Yes, this user is having the access to human resource specialist. Let's go to my client groups and uh, new person. Now we are trying to hire an employee and then also couple of contacts. After that, we'll hire a new employee. That time we'll see the number, number generation. So now choose this US one legal employer. Let's go to the task here. Click next button here. Now, in our person information tab, go down, phone details, email details, we'll find here citizenship, visa, passport information, we'll find here. Uh, below, we will find contacts. So I'm just trying to capture the sister details here. this is our contacts information we have captured any phone details we have then we can go for add the phone information here this is the contact details here and any visas and permits we have that we can go for provide here let's go for save this record here Click next button. Here employment details we are going to capture. We can see that still a uh, person number is not uh, generated. We can see that still person number is not generated. It's showing generated automatically upon final save. Upon final save here. Now we have submitted the complete uh, person details. Let's go for uh, person management. Search for an employee here. May take a couple of minutes time to get action required. Okay, maybe it's looking for some approval. Excuse me. We want to check the approval process and all. We have to go to Navigator, Tools menu, Transaction Console. Go to Transaction Console. Remove this failed status. Now, this is our employee transaction. I just wanted to know what happened. Submitted by the user and it's approved by the workflow system. It means it's auto approval. So we don't need to worry about it. So we have to just go back over this. 
Let's go to person management here. Search for employee. Now the person number is 6429. This is our person number. 6429. And we have already created one contact for this person, right? Here I can find uh, person information. Click on this person information. This is the contact details. Here we have the contact. If we would like to go for one more contact, we can do that here. Brother. Yes, okay. So two contacts we have created. Go for save as well as submit. Yes. Let me go for a hire another employee here. I'll click done button. New person, hire employee. Now we had another employee here. The system will be generating a person number for this employee also automatically after completion of the final sale. After completion of the final sale means after completion of the approval. So now let's go to person management here and search for the second person W2. Now, if we look at here, person number is 6432. 6432. Because 6429, it was our uh, W1 employee. Then we got uh, 6430. That is for sister, contact 1. Then 6431. That is for brother, contact 2. And uh, 6432. This is our new employee. This is our new employee. Okay. So if the person number is automatic when you are going for contacts information, then it's going to be updated over here. This is very important. In the interviews, they will be asking us like how to work with the contacts and uh, how where do you go for create contact numbers, how the number will be generated here it is. Okay. Thank you.